today on our 2004 Chevy Silverado, we'll be installing the Tecancha Prodigy P2 brake controller in conjunction with the Tecancha plug-in wiring adapter for electric brake controllers for General Motors products. Part number 90885-3015P. To begin with, we'll go ahead and locate an area where we want to mount the brake controller. In this particular case, we're going to use a small pocket that's part of the dash and put two holes up into it and use the metal bracket that comes with the kit to mount the brake controller. Now to start with, we'll go ahead and hold the bracket up and mark our locations where we need to drill. Now to mount the metal bracket, we went ahead and got a couple machine screws and nuts to go ahead and mount it. These are not supplied with the kit and you will need to get them separately. Once we have the holes drilled, we'll go ahead and put our machine screws from the top going down. Next, we'll put the bracket up, followed by the nuts. Once the nuts are on, we'll go ahead and tighten down the bracket. Then we'll go ahead and mount the brake controller to the bracket using the small machine screws supplied with the hardware. We'll leave them loose for now, as we need to make sure we can pivot the brake controller so we can make the connection on the back with the wiring harness. Now we'll need to go ahead and locate the factory plug that we're going to use. Now to get to this factory plug, we'll need to remove a cover that covers up a fuse panel on the lower left side near the driver's feet. Once you remove this, you will see that there's labeling on the inside of the cover. Our wiring plug will plug into the top row of plugs, the second one over, labeled for trailer. By using the part number 3015P, we're able to plug directly into the vehicle's factory wiring harness. Now that we have this in place, we'll go ahead and run our wire back over to where our brake controller is mounted. Keeping in mind that you want to keep it away from any parts that move or may have sharp edges as this could damage the wire. Now that we have the wire run back over, we'll go ahead and plug it into the back of our brake controller. We'll also use a few zip ties to help secure the wire along the way. Next we'll go ahead and cover back up the fuse panel that we removed the cover on earlier to plug our wiring harness into. Now that we have all the brake controller connections made, we need to go up underneath the hood and add a 40 amp fuse as well as making sure our lines are connected so that we have the 12 volt hot lead at the back of the 7 pole at the back of the vehicle. To do this, we will need to lift the cover off of the fuse box, then we'll need to remove 4 bolts that hold the bracket in that support the fender to the front of the vehicle. With that done, you can lift off the cover that covers up the fuse box. On this particular vehicle, you will see that the lines are already hooked up. On some vehicles, they are not, and you will need to hook them to these two posts here. But we will need to install the 40 amp fuse located in this location here. On this particular vehicle, there was a plug already in place where we need to put the 40 amp fuse. You'll need to remove that plug and then insert the 40 amp fuse. Now that the 40 amp fuse is in place, we'll go ahead and put the fuse box back together as well as putting the bracket back on that we removed earlier. Now we're ready to go ahead and test our brake controller. To do this, you can either use a test setup or you can use your trailer that you're going to be towing. You can also see when you do the manual override or step on the brake, you will get a number displayed on the digital readout. This is telling you how much power is going to your electric brakes. As you will see here, everything seems to be functioning okay. That completes our installation of the Tecancha Prodigy P2 trailer brake controller, part number 90885-3015-P on our 2004 Chevy Silverado.